Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book Salt, A World History. Informed by rich historical research, this book lets us look at salt from a whole new perspective. One of the most common seasoning products today, we are so familiar with salt that we often give its existence for granted, until a natural disaster or other emergencies hit and people rush to the supermarkets to hoard it up. Maybe it is only during difficult times that people realize the importance of salt in their day-to-day -day life. There is a French folktale centered on this idea. A princess once said to her father, the king, I love you like salt. In her mind, she wanted to express to her father that he was the most important person in her life. But the king misunderstood her and, angry at being compared to something as common as salt, exiled her. Later, that the king's doctor told him he needed to control his salt intake. After tasting unseasoned food, he realized that salt may be common, but we cannot live without it. Only then he truly understood what his daughter wanted to say. More often than not, we see salt from the king's perspective, dismissing it as something common and ordinary. Mark Kurlansky's book Salt instead offers us the chance to see it from the princess's perspective, diving deep into the history of salt to show that there's much more to it than a bunch of tiny crystals, and that, instead, it has been a driving force for the development of human society and economy. Kurlansky's books often unravel the threads of an object or a place's history, drawing narratives that accompany the reader in understanding how and when they came to be. A food enthusiast, he traveled worldwide to research this book, studying different food cultures and retrieving large amounts of historical data. Together with Salt, A World History, he also authored The Basque History of the World, A Continent of Islands, Searching for the Caribbean Destiny, as well as A Chosen Few, The Resurrection of European Jewry. He won the 1999 James Beard Award with a similar deep dive into food history with Cod, a biography of the fish that changed the world. Our summary of this book about salt revolves around three main topics. Part 1. Do you really understand salt? Part 2. Everybody loves salt. Part 3. A grain of salt might be small, but it's a big deal. Part 1. Do you really understand salt? In our modern world of mass salt production, we can count up to 14,000 different types of uses for salt. As we mentioned, the most commonly known is as food seasoning. Yet, most people don't realize that this is only one, perhaps the most obvious, of its uses, while lesser known uses of salt include the production of drugs, fertilizers, and even soap. We can also use salt to help melt the snow on the road, dye different fabrics, and soften water. Possibilities are almost endless. Quite an achievement for an item that we tend to take for granted. It all started thousands of years ago, when early human hunters discovered this ancient mineral while tracking animals. But it was only in the last 200 years or so, that people truly understood its nature and its uses multiplied. So, how did our ancestors view and use salt in those ancient days devoid of complex technologies? In ancient Greek, the famous author Homer wrote of salt as a divine substance. The great philosopher Plato described it as especially dear to the gods. These references to salt are more than enough to prove that people thought of salt as an irreplaceable product even in the past, likened to a divine gift. In the eyes of past societies, salt was not just divine and holy. It also represented eternity, as shown by the use of salt to seal contracts in both Islamism and Judaism, to symbolize their immutable validity. Ancient Egyptians, Greeks and Romans all used salt in conducting religious sacrifices and rituals to honor their respective gods. In Christianity, people combined salt with water to form a spiritual gateway to communicate with God, a practice thought to be the origin of the so-called holy water. Together with holy water, the use of blessed salt is also attested in Christianity, symbolizing truth and wisdom. Throughout the Middle Ages, Salt was an auspicious substance in different cultural contexts, while in many parts of Africa